Hey everybody, it's me, Marissa Ann. Um, it is now about a quarter to midnight and I'm home. Um, I'm very tired, but um, I made it home. I made it back safely. Um, and as promised, I'm going to give you a recap of what I did today on the last day of Gaze in Space. Um, so today... When I went to Gaze in Space, I just walked around a little bit and um, just to take everything in because, you know, it's the last day. just want to reminisce about that. Um, afterwards, um, I went to go get my photo op with Robert, with Robert Picardo. Um, and then after that, I um, went to a, um, a panel on the history, understanding the history of LGBTQIA+. Um, and I loved the panel and, you know, it was kind of emotional um, s sitting during that panel because, um, you know, it just learning about pronouns and why they're important, learning the history of LGBTQIA+, all of that is very important. And if we don't learn about our history, we're doomed to repeat it again. Um, but I did, I did, again, I did enjoy that, although it was a little emotional. Um, afterwards, I went and got something to eat. And then, um, what else did I do? I walked around, talked to a few more people. And then eventually, um, I went to the, to the, uh, to my last away mission for, uh, Gaze in Space, which was called, um, Be That Guy. And it was ran by Jake Mundell, I'm sorry, Jacob Mundell. And he is an actor who was in the show, um, The Expanse. Um, the, the point, what I learned in the, in this away mission, um, is about um, how to audition for an acting part, uh, mainly in television and um, and theatrical. Um, and when I say theatrical, I'm not talking about uh, Broadway. I mean like going into like the movies type. Um, it was very informative. I learned a lot about how um, the process of uh, of how to get an audition and um, how to set up correctly for an audition. And um, J Jacob went into pretty, uh, a lot of detail, but he wasn't going to, but he didn't spill like all the secrets because, you know, he still, because he, because again, he's an actor and he loves his job. You don't want to, you know, give out all the secrets and then, you know, you put yourself, possibly put yourself in a position where you may not be able to work anymore. But the information that he gave us was very informative. And I actually, and because he gave me that information, now I have even more respect for, um, for the actors now, because um, these actors have to go through a lot just to get a part. And sometimes you got to audition three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times um, just to get a part. And one of the things that I learned uh, in this um, in this away mission is that, you know, when it comes to auditioning for a part, don't, if you don't get the part, don't, don't take it uh, personally, because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about what the casting directors are looking for. And if you don't have what they're looking for, then, you know, don't fixate on it. Don't fixate on it. Just just move on to the next part and audition for that. And eventually, you know, you're going to get a part. But um, again, I did enjoy it. And um, it, it was like I said, it was very informative. And now that I had that uh, that away mission, I'm going to go back and listen to that one podcast that the Delta Flyers did with Michelle Hurd, Armin Shimmerman, and Kitty Swink. Um, 
that they did during the SAG strike. So, um, you know, so I can just put all those pieces together and really understand what it is that they do for a living and why, um, why they were on strike in the first place. And, um, so again, you know, I really enjoyed myself at Gaze in Space and I can't wait to go back again next year. And, um, on that note, you know, I'm just going to end by saying, uh, I will be, uh, doing a more informative review on each day that I was there. And I'm going to start doing that sometime this week. Um, so on that note, be good to yourselves, be good to those who love you, and I will see you all later. Good night. Bye-bye.